Hey, just wanted to hop in here and let you guys know this is the second part to the Joiner Restoration Series. Be sure to check out the description for the link to the first one if you haven't seen it. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the video. I'm going to be using one of these particular masks for this. You don't have to have one like this. I would say you would be fine with just your standard paper mask that you can get from Home, home Depot. This one's just a little more comfortable. camera's a little crooked, but right now we've got most of all of the rust off of the main portion, the main portion of the joiner. We still have the bed that moves, the uh, infeed table, to get the rust off of it. I'm going to blow dry that with uh, some air, compressed air, get most of that water out, and then I'm just going to let it air dry. I just wanted to get all that vinegar off. I could tell the vinegar on top of that table was starting to turn the, the iron color. So, we turn the cast iron a different color. So we're going to let this air dry. I'll come back to you here in just a little bit when we got update. Now, while the main part of the joiner is out there drying off, I'm going to go ahead and sand this and sand the end feed table of the joiner as well. This face really isn't bad at all. Um, the back side could use a little, little TLC, so we're going to do that. And uh, this is the first time I've ever restored any older cast iron product before, so it's a learning thing. We're learning as we're going along. Um, so let's get to this.
with you. All I know is extravagant things. Okay guys, I just wanted to hop back in here real quick and kind of give an update as to where we are. We've got everything pretty much rust removed. Yes, there are still some rust and some little nooks and crannies, but my main focus was the moving parts. Um, I'm getting ready to start putting everything back together and I felt like I needed to hop in here real quick and kind of tell you guys what to look for. Um, so you've got each the bottom pieces of these brackets that's mounted to the bottom of the inlet side of the joiner. You also have these two pieces that fit on the inside mouth of each side. I'm going to lubricate all these. I just wanted to walk through and tell you how these fit together. Once those are in there, you have your each bracket that fits in just like so. Like I said, some of these might need, oh man, that's so much better already. Each of these fit in there pretty easily. There we go. And these are what's going to move as you go. So once you have these in there, you also have these bolts that go through the side and put tension on both of the pins that go through on that little uh, fastener in there. All right, guys, I'm probably killing the names of this stuff. I'm just going with what, I, with what I've got. But these tighten down, tighten down on the pins and appear to be what holds this, yeah, tighter. So I'm sure that's how you, my mic fell, sorry. So yeah, so those, these little two are the tensioner screws that adjust these back and forth. Once you find your right height, blah, 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 tighten these down, you're good to go. I just wanted to walk you through this. Um, I've got the new blade. These are the old blades. I'm going to uh, tighten up the little spacers here that hold these in. Uh, not tighten them up, clean them up. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going.
most extravagant thing to go down. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you enjoyed the video. I know I had a heck of a lot of fun making it. This was actually my first, I guess you would call, vintage machinery restoration. And uh, I knew there wasn't really a lot of uh, videos out there for this specific model. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to hit the like button. That helps and, and lets me know you like the video. And if you want to subscribe, hit that circle button over there right in the middle. It's got D-Ray's Woodshop on it. Stick around for a while and uh, check out these two other videos over here on the right. Um, I will also do a follow-up video to this joiner restoration uh, as far as setting the joiner blades. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, also check out the build article. It would be the first link in the description. Go in a little more detail there as well as pictures and stuff like that. Once again, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. And we'll see you in the next one.